Hello, this is Jeremiah, and I just want to try to explain the most horrible glitch that I've ever run into in my 12 years of working in the video industry. This has cost me three days worth of work, full days of work, um, 10 hours a day, uh, completely shot down the drain. And the problem is so crazy and complicated, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to describe it very well. But basically, here's what we've got. Um, I have shot some footage here. I used a separate audio recorder um, and then synced my footage using Woo Wave. Um, I've got my clips here. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but basically the audio here on audio one is synced with video one. All right. Um, if you can hear it at all, his lips are matched up and everything is good. So here's what I do. Um, I just go through and you know I cut out the different places that I want and then I you know make other sequences and um, that way you know the footage always stays synced. I'm just kind of making random cuts here to try to demonstrate the problem for you. Um, but you know then I'll go in and copy and paste this into other sequences and basically make you know huge complex projects out of all this footage that I've got right. Well. <laughs> the crazy thing is is that when you go to master it I'm going to save it real quick when I go to master this and you can look here um, you can see how like you know, all the pictures are different because they're different sections of the clip that's been cut in the little preview is showing different pictures you know because this clip here you know has been cut but this particular section I will just take this section for since I can bring it over here and if I play it it obviously doesn't play from the beginning of this particular clip it plays from the middle part that I've cut it and this is going to be important later right watch when I master this after I've done all my crazy amount of work and everything like that um, well just it doesn't matter what you master to anything it all happens the same um, And then let's say I save my project and I close out from here. And whoop, uh, reopen Premiere. Go back to my project. Now what's crazy is if I actually rendered this it would render out with this error. Look, look at this, the same clip I had. Instead of the middle part that I cut out, it's now taking the beginning of the audio clip, which is way longer, so it's actually playing this audio here rather than this middle part that I cut out, and it's playing the beginning part of the clip. Look at all the clips now. Look, at they're all the same picture because they're all just starting from the beginning of the clip and here where I cut it again now it's starting in the clip over again now it's starting the clip over again rather than having the beginning the middle and then the end of the clip and it does that for all of my clips and then here's where it gets even worse if I go back and I open previously saved copies If I go into my auto saves here and well, I'll show you on any of these. It does that same thing. See how they're all the same picture? It does that same thing to all, even my old stuff, even stuff that I saved like yesterday or earlier this morning, basically every single um, thing with this this clip, uh, this audio three, and like the twenty clips that are attached to it, all basically just start from the beginning of the clip rather than the place that I cut it. See how it's like watch. So you'll just say we have a root infestation. He licks his lip. You go to the next cut point. A few ways of doing it. We have a root infestation. He licks uh, his lip. Look at that. And 
my little bit that I mastered, if I actually went through and rendered it, it would render it with the errors the way it is. So basically it rewrites my whole project, including my previous save files, to scrambling the clips and the audio is all on, out of sync. What's worse is I don't even have a reference point. You know, I can't just, you know, click on this guy and, you know, do the match frame thing because the audio is taken from a different uh, recorded source than the video. So I basically have to start all the way over, resync everything all over again, and rebuild the whole project again, and it keeps happening. Now, I know you're probably going to think, oh, well, maybe it's some Premiere files. I was so frustrated with this that I totally uninstalled Adobe CS6 Creative Cloud Suite, like all the programs, reinstalled them all, rebuilt, spent a whole other day doing the project, same thing happened. I reformatted my hard drive, my C drive, and took all Windows off, reinstalled Windows, reinstalled all the Adobe things, spent another day re-editing the project, same thing happened again when I mastered. So anyways, um, I hope that you can figure out some way to fix it because I have had it.